Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shorabsa's classes and today we are looking at the IIT JAM Economics paper 2023 question number 14. Two people 1 and 2 are engaged in a joint project. Person I puts in effort XI where XI lies between 0 and 1 and incurs the cost of CI of XI which is equals to XI. The monetary outcome of the project is 4x1 x2 which is split equally between them. Considering the situation as a strategic game, the set of Nash equilibria in pure strategies is what? So now the total outcome is four x one x two, which is to be split as two x one x two and two x one x two. Correct? Provided. the x1 and x2 are greater than 0 okay because only in that case will be having a positive total outcome which will be split so given in the question that the cost incurred by both the firms uh, both the agents is ci of xi which is equals to xi so now let us look at the two extreme cases what if my x1 is equals to 0 Person 1 is basically uh, incurring a uh, is putting an effort xi which is equals to 0. In that case, automatically the total outcome will turn out to be 0 because it's a joint project. So in that case, the best response of the player 2 would also be to put x2 as equals to 0. And this is true the other way around as well. So that means 0 comma 0 is a Nash equilibrium. Okay. The other extreme case could be, let's say that player 1 puts in full effort. That means x1 is equals to 1. Alright. So now the question is, what would be the best response of player 2? So for player 2, he would be trying to maximize his payoff. So payoff of player 2, if I write it in this way, payoff of 2 would be, he would be getting 2x1, x2 minus the cost he would be bearing is x2. Since x1 is equals to 1, so that is 2x2 minus x2, which is x2. So higher the amount of effort he puts, higher will be the payoff that he gets given that player 1 plays with full effort. So that means he will be putting maximum effort. So x2 will be equals to 1. So if player 1 is putting the maximum effort, x1 is equals to 1, the best response for player 2 will always be to put the maximum effort x2 equals to 1. So that means 1 comma 1 is also a Nash equilibrium. Okay. Now let's come to the case where xi lies between 0 and 1, some intermediate effort. So in that case, the total outcome will be a positive value. So that will be shared equally. So let's say the payoff of player 1 is denoted by pi 1. So that will be 2x1, x2 minus the cost, which is x1. And the payoff of player 2 would be similarly 2x1, x2 minus x2. The objective of player 1 now will be to choose x1 to maximize pi 1 given x2. So that would be 2x2 bar minus x1 is equals to 0. So let's say x2 bar star will come out to be half. And in the exact same manner, player 2 will be maximizing his payoff by choosing his level of effort. So differentiate this. So that would be 2x1 bar minus 1 is equals to 0. So x1 bar is also equals to half. Therefore, half comma half is also a Nash equilibrium. Therefore, the three candidates of Nash equilibrium are 0, 0, half, half and 1 comma 1. 
So that basically gives us our option C. Thank you. Now let us come to question number 15 of the IIT JAM Economics 2023 question paper. Two firms X and Y operating in a perfectly competitive market. The price elasticity of supply of X and Y are respectively 0 0.5 and 1.5. So elasticity of supply for firm X is equals to 0 0.5 and elasticity of supply for firm Y is equals to 1.5. Then we have to check the options. If the market price increases by 1%, X supplies 0.5% lesser quantity. If Y experiences slow increase in marginal cost compared to X, if market price increases by 0.5%, X supplies 1% more. And the fourth option is Y experiences a rapid increase in marginal cost in comparison to X. So let us check with option a and C first because that can be directly checked by using the expression for the elasticity. So the definition of elasticity is percentage change in quantity supplied of X divided by percentage change in price, right? That is given to be 0 0.5, correct? So if you look at the first option over here, it says that if the market price increases by 1%, then X supplies 0.5% less quantity. Now that is not true because the value of elasticity is a positive number, right? So since the elasticity is positive, it simply implies that if the price increases by 1%, then the output supplied will increase by 0.5%. It will not reduce, it will not lessen the quantity by 0.5%. So option A is incorrect. So that is out. Now let's go to option C. If the market price increases by 0.5%, then X supplies 1% more quantity. Let's check this. So the percentage change in quantity is basically DQ by Q divide by dp by p is equals to 0 0.5 in order to put both of them in percentage let's multiply both of them by 100 okay so the question is if the market price increases by 0 0.5 percent so the denominator would be 0 0.5 which is equals to 0 0.5. So what is the percentage change in quantity? It is 0 0.5 into 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25 or 1 by 4%, which is again incorrect because we are given 1% in the option. So option A and option C both are wrong directly. So now we come to option B and C. So B and C are related to the marginal cost comparison between firm X and firm Y. So if you look at the elasticity values, we can say that elasticity of supply for firm Y is greater than elasticity of supply of firm X. Correct? So that means if, let's say the price changes by 1%, then the percentage change in quantity of firm Y is greater than the percentage change in quantity for firm X. The firm Y is more responsive to any price changes as comparison to firm X. Okay. Now this is only possible that firm Y is able to produce higher and sell higher if its marginal cost is increasing at a lesser rate because in that way it will be able to produce higher as comparison to X. So obviously the change in marginal cost of Y is lesser than the change in marginal cost of firm X. Okay, so that is given by option number B. Y experiences a slower increase in marginal cost in comparison to X. Okay, it will increase but the speed at which it will increase is slower as a result of which the response to any price changes is higher. So that is why the correct option for question 15 will be option B.
थैंक यू